What's going on everybody? This is Al from InstaBay06 Revival. And in the last video, we took on Ohio. Had a bit of a slow start, but we took care of business towards the end. Now we're going to take on Kentucky. Should be a, more of a challenge. As you can tell, they got a little more talent than we do, but it's about even. So I think as long as we don't turn the ball over, we should be okay. Just looking at the stats here. Of course, last week was a weird week. I mean, we put up 56 points, but like a third of that was from special teams. Almost, actually, it was close to half. So my offense didn't put up a whole lot of point or a lot of yardage and other stats last week, but that's okay. We still got the win, and we're two and zero. Before we take on the Wildcats, let's go to recruiting and see if we need to make any adjustments. Leonard Johnson was the one last week that had me going down on his list. Now we're going back up, which is good. But let's start at the top. We are number one for the cornerback, Ronald Smith. We're at the bottom of the top five for the guard, but we're still going to stick with this and keep putting points on him. We're number one for the tackle, Alex Rogers, and we went up there. Wide receiver, I think we're just well on our way to getting this kid unless something crazy happens. Let's see, we got two more left, uh, middle linebacker. We we stay the same, we're still number two, but we're basically tied for first. So I like where we're at there. And the other middle linebacker. Looking good here, still at number two. Both of them can play defensive end for me down the road if need be. Okay, so there's really nothing I need to do here. Now, I've talked about it a couple times before. If you look at our schedule, it's pretty brutal when it comes to the home games. Like, I'm really hoping Illinois, a couple of guys will be ready to uh, take a visit by then. I think they would be beatable. I mean, they're a B-minus overall. But look at my home schedule. Ohio State, Minnesota's a possibility, but they're B-plus. They got quite a bit of talent. So I don't know why they're losing like they are. And Purdue, they're just way too talented. And that's the end of the, the schedule. So I don't know how all that's going to play out. So I'm thinking the only reason why I won't get some of these guys to commit is because I'll just end up losing that home game. But we're going to try trying to win it anyways. All right, let's play Kentucky. I still have all of my discipline points to use. So it'd be nice. I mean, I hate to say it, I don't want anybody to get in trouble, but I got plenty to use. So it'd be a good time to discipline somebody for a couple games. Uh, my center, that was the big downside from last week. Got hurt. He's out for the season. My tight end, he's out for another eight weeks. So, offensively, it's not looking good injury-wise. I mean, hopefully we can still put up the points, but thankfully Sexton, the backup to Radonovich, is just as good. But losing that center is going to hurt me. Let's see, it looks like Kentucky's going to get the ball first. Now, let's check their depth chart. I didn't have to really change anything here at center because the backup is already there. So, let's just go ahead and look at Kentucky's. Andre Woodson is out for a couple games. So, their backup, this is what worries me. This kick has got some speed to him. So, we're going to have to look out for that. Halfback, pretty good. Fullback, not bad. 82, 82, 78. That's a pretty decent little receiving core. I wouldn't mind having a few of those guys. Jacob, Tammy. You know me. I'm a big Tennessee guy, which means I can't stand Kentucky. And I swore Jacob Tammy played at Kentucky for 15 years. I mean, a ninth-year redshirt type of guy. His name was all over the place. Finally, he graduated. Thankfully, we beat him every year when he was there, but it just seemed like he was there for the longest time. Okay, 72, 78, 76, 76. Not a very good offensive line. About the same as mine. Uh, 70, 82. I think they run a 3-4, but we're going to spread them out, so I'll, we'll see what they run. 82, 78. Nothing an outside linebacker. Middle linebacker doesn't look good. Okay, outside line. So the linebacker core. Their front seven in general is just not that great. Corners, nothing special. They're not very fast either. Not a very good free safety. 
a pretty good strong safety. So I may try to go after this guy some if possible. Otherwise, like normal, just run your offense. It gives you built-in answers. You just find the open guys. Right, let me check their kickers real quick. 80 and 72, that's not terrible. All right, let's go ahead and play them. I'd like to start the season 3-0 before we take on Wisconsin. That's like a good kick. Good stop there. Now, they're going to run a pro-style offense, so you're going to see a little bit of everything from them. I am going to stick the nickel and dime just because I don't have the linebackers to really play this year. I have the corners. I just don't have the linebackers. So some of these bigger sets may hurt me a little bit. We'll just see. That's a good stop, though. I think they're going to run a whole lot more than throw just because Woodson's out. Uh... Let's do another one high. I still think they're going to run it. Halfback draw. So I'm going to get a stop. Good deal. All right, now it's third and seven-ish. So we'll go to Cloud. It's worked pretty well for us so far this year. Just got to watch out for that quarterback running with it. So I'm going to do like a spy more or less and just treat my defensive end as a safety valve. Oh, and they're running the ball. Oh, good deal. That surprised me. I wasn't expecting that. That was a good stop, though, so they're going to punt it. Let's see if Figpin can create a little magic here. He had an amazing game last game against Ohio. Had a couple returns for touchdowns. Let's see. Let's just go to the right. Mm -hmm. Nothing there. Just don't fumble. All right. Let's go. Twin halfback. Twin halfback. Let's start here. Let's run a play. I didn't run any last week. This is tight end post. They're going 3 4. That's what I expected. I may want to keep him that 3 4. They don't have much talent there. Cover two. Fixing the feel the pressure there, so I just went ahead and dumped it to my halfback. If you don't have a fast tight end, it's a little bit slow developing against zone. Let's do twin halfback here. Let's do tight end corner. They're going man. I bet that safety's going to come up. No, don't, not yet. I'm going to hot round Sexton just in case. They're going one high. Good throw, good catch to Gilmore to pick up the first. Let's go twin halfback here. Uh, tight end, uh, no, the halfback slot here. Tight end here. And one more tight end here. And I need to hurry up and call play. Let's do a halfback screen. We're going zone, so I'm okay with this. Took my took me forever to get those. Ooh. Get a block, somebody. Ooh, almost got the first. One of my linemen completely missed that other guy. I could have got a much bigger gain. No big deal. Let's start here. Second and one. So I got plenty of downs and yards to work with. Let's do a wide receiver under. You haven't seen me run any of this this year. This is a great man beater. And it looks like they're going, man, that corner is coming to blitz. So this will probably go to Kleinschmidt or Bailey. Both safeties coming up. So we'll just bounce it to Kleinschmidt. Let's see if he can make it this touchdown. Nice, nah, six points. We'll break this play down. This play's not the best against zone, but killer against man. A little wobbly of a throw, but actually it was a perfect throw. The wide receiver adjusted well. They're going man. I have right here... My Z receiver, the far right, is on a go. If one or both safeties don't come up, my man beater is actually the left slot. This guy right here, he runs a great slant route. It's like a two-step slant. Right there, it's just a great uh, separator. But they went both safeties coming up, so I went over the top. You can also go to your shallow route here sometimes. That's usually a good zone beater, and if he's not open, you can always give it to your halfback who does a delay route. But they went man, both safeties coming up, went over the top to my go route for six points. So, just a good read all around. 
corner didn't have a chance. So that's a good start. We'll get the extra point and get back on defense. Pretty day for some football. That just now hit me. We got the commentators for today. Hopefully here in a couple of years when I really have some talent and a really good team, we're going to have those guys announcing for us every game. Our schedule is definitely tough enough, so we'll definitely be hearing from them about every game this year. <laughs> Big Ten's tough in this game, I tell you. Okay, uh, let's just stick to the one high. They've been sticking to the run, so we're going to match that. Let's just do some one high. Good stop by the linebacker. Going too wide again. Let's do a corner blitz this time, one high. Again, I still think they'll run it. Oh, they're going to throw it. Tammy, Jacob Tammy, I swear. That was a good throw. Good catch. Now it's, what, third and six? I'm going to go cloud. I think they're going to probably throw it. I'm not going to do hold the defensive end, though. Nice. Went for a draw. Wasn't expecting that. Good stop. All right. Punt the ball. Give the thick pin. Let's see if we can do something. Looks like we'll probably roll to the left. Get a block there. Pick up a few yards, not a lot. Let's go here, and we've already got like four different, uh, three different guys touched the ball already, so that's a pretty good distribution. Let's do a slot corner. They're going man, so I'll probably bounce this to Taylor. Oh, look at all this room he's got. Oh, plenty of room. Great play. The linebacker on the far side of the field had to defend Taylor, so that's just a terrible matchup. He had plenty of room to work with. Let's go here and slot. Let's do a slot screen. We're going zone. So I'm just going to bounce this out to Bailey. This will make number five to catch the ball. Good catch there. Don't fumble it. Pick up eight. So now five different guys have touched, six different guys. I'm not forcing it, but I think this is just the neatest thing when it comes to the air raid offense. And you've heard me talk about it before. One, two, three, four, five. Five different guys have touched the ball already on six plays. It's just kind of the way it works out sometimes. Okay, I'm on the right hash. So let's do a different route or a different formation. Let's go RB crosses. This is the going man. He's coming that way. Old safety's coming up. Just bounce this to Gilmore. That's not a good throw. Oh, good catch. Oh, my gosh. That was not the best throw in the world. He had to really adjust to it. Almost got sacked. I was feeling the heat right there. I went to my cover zero beater. They brought both safeties up, so it just makes sense to go to your zero beater. Good tight spiral on that thing, too. Their corners are not very good. I can tell that already. Yeah, they're not very good at all. I mean, as long as they bring both safeties up, I'm going to keep attacking deep. That's part of the air raid offense. You just take what they give you. We'll get back on defense and keep running some one high. They look a little uh, shuffled on the on offense. All righty, let's do one high at a nickel. Let's see, let's just. That was a good swat. I think the corner got a hand on that one. Now they're going dime. Let's do, let's just do two high for now. So it's second and 10, ball on the 20. The D line shifts over. Back to pass. Look, stepped up. He's going right. 
Ooh, I, I think that was me. I guess I tipped it. That's just good defense right there, coach. Uh, so good defense there. Four wide. Uh, let's do a uh, cover three, four wide. Let's see what happens there. I've never really ran this play before. It's third down and ten. Ball on their own twenty. Round. I'm gonna do a three-two. Let's do a safety. Valve. Oh no, back out. Say that's what I was expecting. I figured he was gonna run with it. All right, punt the ball. Good deal. First quarter's looking even better now. Let's see if Fig Pin could do something here. We may have some work to do on the right side, if possible. No, that's just good open field tackle. Let's go here. Let's do an RB deep. They're going zone. So I'm just going to pop this over to Bailey. Pick up five-ish, maybe. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the Let's ball. Let's do halfback out. I had it on my mind, so we'll go with it. They're going man, so this will go to Gilmore or Kleinschmidt. They're going one high. Perfect throw. Perfect catch, everything. Spot on. Okay, now let's... I don't know if I have enough time to do this. I got nine seconds. They're going zone. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. I may just here. We'll just bounce it to Washington. Pick up the first. That's a good simple zone beater. Just fake it to your halfback and just throw it right to him as soon as the fake is over with. That was a good play there. Now let's go. Let's see. We'll go here. Let's go back to some old school sets here. Let's do curls. At a weak normal, they're going zone, so this will go to either Sexton or Taylor, more than likely Taylor. He drops back. A little cover four beater. We'll break this play down because you don't see it too often. Okay, they're going zone, so I'm going to go to my, more often than not, my flat route, which is my fullback, or my other back, to the left. Unless they leave a big, huge hole open in front of the center. In this case, they did, right here. Just ton of room right here. And this is my center beater. I call it my cover four beater, but here they're going cover three. That's why I call it the center beater, because sometimes they'll just do a heavy blitz leaving this place open. So this will go to the tight end, just pick up an easy nine yards. Not too bad. Now, I want to go play action here, because I got a down to work with and only one yard needed. Let's do another PA read. Let's do that of trips. They're going go. zone. This is the fifth play of this drive. Now, I could run it, but they're shifting that way, so I'm just going to bounce this to Washington. The Hoosiers come out the shotgun. Throws a live pass out to the left. Bounces just pick up the first, just a simple play. Now, I'm going to stay in this formation. No, I'm going to go trips over. Let's do this. Let's run halfback streak. Just a smash beater. Now, they're going man here, so I'll probably either go to Washington or Taylor depending on what the safeties do. But they're going one high. Just pass this to Taylor. Just pick up six yards. Not too bad. Second and four. Now let's go here. I want to run. Where's it at? Where's it at? Uh, no. Uh, fullback same. It's like a high-low on either side. Now they're going man here. So I just may go to Gilmore for safety reasons. Unless they go too high. They're going one high. A little too... Oh, my gosh, he got a foot in. I'll be... I threw that one way too high. I should have put a little more oomph on that play or on that throw. They went one high, so I was going to go to my corner out right here. I threw it... I tapped the button way too lightly. I should have done a medium press or a basic press. That's why it took him forever to get it. I can't tell if he caught that or not, but we're going to count it anyways. They're counting, so we're counting. <laughs> so I guess that was a good throw. It could have been better. Like I said, I, I could have pressed the button a little bit too harder. Those corner routes are killer man beaters. 
if you throw it just to do a medium press, seven times out of ten, your wide receiver will shield himself from his defender and is usually good about adjusting to the throw. All right, let's get back on defense. Good little kick. Looks like he's going to take a knee on that one. Going three wide, so I still expect them to run it of some sort. Somebody get a stop. There we go. Picked up four yards. Going three wide. We'll just stick with this and just do more one high. Don't have to do any really weird adjusting. Good throw. Just a one on one man beater. To the halfback. Let's do two high, man. They shift on their defensive front. Want to run it. Good open field tackle, but he picked up eight yards. Going four wide again. Let's send a little blitz his way. Ball right around midfield. Brown is back in the gun. Brown steps back to pass. He's looking. Someone got a hand on it. I think somebody batted that down. Now it's third and one. They're going to. Let's do a crash gold out of nickel. I'm, I know they're going to run the ball. And dang it, I knew they would do that. I still got the first. I just don't have the talent or the beef up front to go 4 3 or 4 4. So we'll keep playing D. We'll stick with this one high. Kentucky goes with the ace set here. I'm still waiting to get some pressure on that dude. And he'll throw a really bad pass, which could lead to an easy interception. There's another play on Let's do the uh, spy gold. Instead of a blitz, he's just spying the quarterback. We'll do it with our top linebacker. Sprint him out this time. Good stop there, third and long, so we'll go to zoom. We'll do cloud. We'll just keep on doing our third down stuff like we normally have done. We're going to see him three. I'm going to have this safety valve here in the defensive end. A little bit of a spy. I fully expect their quarterback to do some running of some sort. Wide open. Well, where is the defense there? Nobody was there. Let's do a one high. First and ten. This is the ninth play of this drive, and the impact receiver is in the zone right now. He decides to run with it. Oh, gosh, I completely whiffed on him. I was going for a big hit, and I shouldn't have. Okay, now if he's going to keep running like that, I can do like a double spy with my safeties since there's not much room to go anyways. That's nothing you can do about that. That was just a good drive. They just converted. That's all it is there. So there's less than two minutes to go in the half. I'd like to score one more, at least one more before half. We get the ball back, and then we can score again and really get a strong lead. Quarterback threw the ball a whole lot better than I expected there, so we may switch a little more zone on that next drive on defense. In the middle of the field, so let's get... 
Let's do a screen. They're the going man. Here. Ooh, no, ooh. That was close. Picked up a good Way to look it in. 10 yards, though, at least. He's played some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. Let's go here. Let's go back to tight end corner. It's first we're 10. going zone. On so I'm going to bounce this to Kleinschmidt. Just depending on what the... Oh, just a good hit. I waited a little bit longer than usual because the middle was wide open. But he just hit him straight on, so there's nothing I could do about that. Let's go. Let's do clear out. I'm trying to think of some plays I haven't ran yet. We're going zone. I wanted to play it safe and just dump it to Washington. He picked up eight there. Let's do halfback out. I'm trying to think of some, something safe. Surely Gilmore can make this catch here. Good catch. Good throw. I'm going to stay in this formation. And we're going to run... The smash or going zone. So let's just see what those safeties do. Going too high. I got plenty of room to work with. Good throw. Got out of bounds. Got a minute left. Let's go here and. Do, 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 do. Where's that play? Where's I'm looking for it. Uh, let's do deep comebacks. We're going man. Let's see who's defending who. He's getting double teams. This may go to Sexton or Gilmore. We'll just go to Gilmore and pick up the touchdown. One high man beater to the left. That was just easy. Okay, we still gave him a lot of time left to work with. So I may have to go to my quarters coverage a little bit because I kind of expect him to throw. So we'll mix some stuff up on defense. May get a quick three and out to get the ball back. Maybe try to score again for half. That'd be nice. Gosh, today would have been the perfect day to have some visitors in. Could have picked up some quick commitments, but it's just too early in the season. It's a really good kick. He'll take a knee. Let's do quarters out of nickel since they're going too wide. At least that's what they said they was going to do. Or they may run it. He's definitely running it. Oh, first down. My goodness. Pick up the first. Let's do a one high. He still may try to run it. Good. We needed that in the worst way. Got the sack. We had a blitz. I'm going to let that clock keep going. They're not... They don't seem to be in a rush. Let's do another one high. I think they may give up on that play for after that one. So I think they'll just run it. Yeah. Very good chance they'll just run it here. Yeah, we're going to go halfback draw. Nothing there. All right, good deal. We're going to let that clock run, and we're going to go to half. Well, that was as good as the first half as you could ask for offensively. Defensively, we only gave up one touchdown. We'll check out the stats here on offense. I'm thinking McFarland had just a killer first half. We'll go to individual stats. 19 of 20. Not bad. Not bad at all. 264 yards. Four touchdowns, it's 
you couldn't ask for better. 271.9 QB rating. That's probably like a perfect score, real close to it. So let's see if he can match that in the second half. Wouldn't that be something? Have over 500 yards passing. I'm not going to try to force it, but we'll just let the offense dictate. Good block there. Let the offense kind of dictate who gets what stats-wise. Okay. Let's go here. Let's run a play I haven't ran in a while. Let's do this tight end corner. They're going man. So I'll probably just go to Gilmore here. I would go to Washington, but that's a slow zero beater. They're going one high, so I don't have to worry about it. Not the best throw. He had to come back for it. Picked up five-ish. Second and five. Let's go back to that fullback seam. They're going man. This will either go to Gilmore. I may just go to or Taylor. I'll just motion Taylor over. They're going one high. That's how you throw it. That was a medium pass, just a simple press. Good shielding of the defender. Pick up a good game. Now let's run a screen play to my halfback. Let's do that trips over this time. They're going man. So I don't know. Oh, this is going to Taylor. Let's still Indiana. try to give this to Washington. I'm gonna, I like to motion this guy over just in case. He actually gives a little more space for your halfback down low if need be. But no, they're bringing I just a drop pass. That's not the best man beater in the world. You really got to hope for a good block or two. But it didn't happen, so that's not a big deal. Let's do a PE read. They're going man nickel. Depending on who defends, I'm going to have to definitely throw it here. Both safety's coming up. Got to go to Kleinschman. Oh, good defense. Nothing you can do about that. That's just a good play. So it's third and ten. Let's run halfback circle. I was feeling some heat on that left side. That's why you saw me roll out. We're going man, so let's just see what the safeties do. Going one high. Get back up. Oh, okay, we're going to go for it. Fourth and three. Let's run curls out of spread. They're going man dime. Um, this will either go to Washington or Gilmore. Hopefully Washington. Yeah, he's got plenty of room to work with. We'll just pick up the first. Good play there. So let's go here and let's run a screen to Bailey. This is air raid in its purest form. Just everybody's going to get touched the ball day. Good blocking by everybody. I'm not going to juke there. Not against an impact guy. Uh, second and four. Let's give to our tight end if we can. Let's do wide receiver in. They're going man, so it's not going to go to him. This will either go to Gilmore or to Kleinschman. Well, let's, if it's go, hmm, I hope that other safety comes up. Nope, he's not. I'm going to have to throw this away. Nobody's open there. They double teamed that Z receiver, and he was my main man beater. So couldn't do nothing about that. All right, let's go to halfback out and try to pick up the first. We're going zone. So this will either go to Sexton or Washington. They're going too high. I'm not going to have another, not enough time to throw it to the post. So we'll just pick up the first. Uh, what haven't I ran today? Let's do tight end drag. He haven't seen me ran this any this year. They're going man. And he's being double teamed. My goodness, this may go to Sexton. Nope, nobody's open. Dang it. Sexton's way too slow. That's why he couldn't get open. Uh, second and ten. Let's go. Oh, what haven't I ran in a while? Let's do deep comebacks again. They're going man. This is what got us the touchdown last time. So this will probably just go to Gilmore. Both safety's coming up. Terrible throw. Come on, McFarlane. Third and ten. Let me think. What's a good third and ten play? From the 11. Uh, let's just go. 
Tight end post from weak normal. We're going zone, so this is either going to go to Washington or Sexton. We're going cover two here. Ah, ah, oh, what a play! Oh, Washington. The beast. The little beast. Fourth and one, though. I didn't get in. Oh, gosh. Let's, let's just try to run it in if we can. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Good blocking, everybody. Good blocking. Woo! Oh, my gosh. What a play by Washington. Player of the year so far. Play of the year. I should have went back and watched the replay on it. Gosh. They went too high on that play, but Sexton, it just he took a little way too much time, and one of my linemen just got beat badly, so I had to throw a little quicker than usual. So I just went to my safety valve, which was Washington, threw it as hard as I could to him, and then it was just all on him. He just broke tackles. I did make a spin move. I think that was on me, but the rest of it was just him being that good. Whew, that was a long drive. That's one thing you can do with the air raid offense. As long as you guys are catching the ball, you can run clock with it if you need to. All right, four wide. Let's just do dime. Let's just match him. Let's go too high. They better block that linebacker. He is looking to make something happen. Still a ton of time left. On first down. Oh, 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 man, I was right there. He just didn't adjust his arms. I mean, I hit the interception button, the catch button, but it just didn't work. Oh, well. That was a good try. Let's see. We'll do an under front. Ooh, he's wide open. That's just a good play right there. I think that was the spider two wide banana. Killer against man. Let's do nickel against. Probably should have went dime here, but that's okay. Kentucky lines up in a bunch formation. He got hit as soon as he threw it, and he's hurt. JoJo Brown is down. So now they bring in the other guy. Who's their third string guy? David Hamilton. 50, he can't do much anything. Okay. So we can do some heavy blitzing on this kid if we want to, but we'll do a simple one high again. We'll just do our shifting. Threw it a little too early. So now it's third and long, third and ten. Let's just do cloud for now. And I'm going to try to go after this guy with my defensive end. Ooh, almost intercepted. Oh, good play all around by everybody. All right, punt the ball. Let's see if Thick Pin can get a touchdown. Their punter's done a real good job today of punting in the right spots. See, that's a pretty good punt. It's going to be hard for me to do anything with this. Yeah, it's just a good play. Okay, it's first down, so let's go. Let's go back here. Let's do that slot corner play again. They're going man, but they're going dime, so this play may not work. Yep, nobody's open. Mm. Let's see, Taylor, come on. Oh, what a throw. What a throw. Thankfully, I had no pressure. I went to the right. We'll break this play down. I'll show you what I've done. I wasn't feeling much pressure out of this. I was going to throw this to Taylor right off the bat, but that was going to be tight coverage. But I wasn't feeling any pressure. And there's really no other decent man beater here. So what I've done is I decided to roll out, give myself some space, just in case I have to throw it away, I'll be out of the tackle box. But thankfully, Taylor decided to cut up field, so I just lobbed it right to him. I picked up a big gain, so good play by everybody right there. Okay. 
What haven't I called in a while? No. Well, yes, let's run Smash. I haven't ran this any today. They're going zone, so I'll just bounce this to Kleinschmidt. Oh, that's just good defense all around. The middle wasn't open, so I kind of threw a little quick to him. Second and eight. Uh, wide receiver middle. Uh, RB deep. Uh, I need to hurry up and call a play. Let's just do RB deep. They're going man. Let's see what that safety does. He's coming down defending him. Washington so I'm going to have Taylor do that. Ooh, bad throw. Ooh, bad throw. He, that was way under thrown. I guess that was my fault. Third and eight. Okay, what do we call here? This is two-down territory for me. So that being said, let's do double cross. I haven't ran this play today. They're going man. So I got several options here. I got Gilmore, Kleinschmann, mainly. They're going too high here. Good throw, first down. Just your basic man beater. There was nobody in the middle running spy or anything, so he was wide open. 23-yard line. Let's go. Corner. Let's do tight end drag. I haven't ran this today. They're going man. Got a couple of zero beaters, a couple of man beaters. Both safeties coming up. Let Kleinschmidt make the play. Oh, that's good defense. Just had a hand on it. The other zero beater, Washington, it takes him a little while to get open. So I kind of want to get quick with that and just throw it to the other zero beater. So no big deal. Uh, let's do RB crosses. Haven't ran this today, I don't think. Uh, they're going man, so this will go to Clashford, Gilmore, or Taylor. They're going one high. Just go to your basic man beater right there, which is the slant. Third and four. Let's play it safe and let our two best players have the ability to catch the ball. In this case, we're going zone, so I'll just bounce this to Washington, play it safe, and try to pick up the first. Good throw. Oh, what a play! Ah! Washington with six. He's feeling it. Man, what a day, McFarlane. The whole offense is having. I mean, look at this. Boosh, boosh. Get off me, son. He's like 5'5 five, five and just running over people. What a play. Gosh, my, the offense is just, I haven't ran an air raid this good in a game in a long time. I mean, everything's clicking. It feels good. Now, just imagine when I actually get some really good talent in. It's going to be crazy. It's going to take me a couple of years to bring that in. Through three quarters, I would say he's got 400 yards already. 401, right on it. Yep. McFarlane, 31 of 39, five touchdowns, no interceptions. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six guys have touched it. That's great. Washington, Gilmore, and Kleinschmidt. Those should be your top three every time. Your top two receivers and your halfback. Good deal. All right, get back on defense. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And I'm con now I'm contemplating where to the put in my second string offense. I think my first string has done more than enough to that. Going three wide. Let's just stick with the one high. I guess that quarterback's back. They never said anything. Yeah, he's back. He didn't get too injured. Counter play just isn't going to work. That blitz came through right in that hole. Good play call by me, I guess. Suit just too high for now. I'm pretty sure they're going to throw it. No, I don't have to do that. They come out of the nickel. No reason to flip it when you got two safeties going high. Option. Triple option. What in the world? Ooh. Ooh, what a fake. Wow, what a play. 
faked me. <laughs> little triple option. I love it. Good little fake pitch there. Watch this. <laughs> oh, that never gets old when you run triple. If you can do that fake pitch, you got to time it right, though. All right, let's go back to one high. That's what they should have been doing all day. I would have really struggled on defense. They would run triple. Oh, man, I was right there. Oh, I was just a little bit off. I was going to pick that sucker off and head to the house. Oh, so close. Oh, okay, let's do quarters. Huh? He's kind of getting in the passing mode right now, so. Brown lines up in the shot let's just see if he continues to throw. That's just wide open. They can do about that. That's just a good play call. Okay, they're going one high. I can't. Let's do fire green. That was easy. Just went right up the gut. So now their first string is still staying in there trying to score. So I'm going to do the same thing. Now watch one of my guys get hurt. But. They'll go for an onside kick. I'm going to run a little clock on this next drive. I got no reason to hurry up and score. So we're going to try to run clock and still try to score a touchdown at the same time with the air raid offense. So maybe you can see a nice three-minute drive or something. Somebody pick it up. Yeah, just get out of bounds. Okay. I want to do a halfback screen. It didn't work too well last time. Let's see if we can make it work this time. They're going zone, so I'm okay with that. We'll just bounce this to Washington. See if he can make a play. Ooh, that's just good defense. Nobody blocked him. He was just sitting there waiting on it. Let's run curls. They're going zone. So I'll probably just bounce this to Bailey. Unless there's a huge hole in the middle for Sexton. I don't see it. Let's it fly. Complete. Good play. First down, stayed in bounds. Good play overall. Now, I want to stay in this formation. I want to go back to that wide receiver underplay. They're going zone. So, my zone beaters is if there's a hole open in the middle, I'll give it to Gilmore. Otherwise, I'll just bounce it to my halfback. But we're going to run some clock first. If there's any type of hole around the tackle box. I'll give to Gilmore. Easy play. Now, I could have thrown a little bit harder, and I probably should have thrown a little quicker. About another half a second, he would have had probably more room to work with, but we still picked up good game. Six yards. I'm okay with that. Oh, let's do something real simple where everybody kind of something really short. Let's just run curls. Second and four coming up here. You may be asking yourself, Al, why aren't you running the ball? Because I don't feel like it. I want to throw it. Okay, they're going man. I'm going to have Sexton go deep just in case. Had way too much room over here on the right side. That safety was defending Washington, so that's like the easiest yards ever. And we stayed in bounds. Now we'll go here. Uh, tiny corner we've ran that plenty today. Drag, fullback seam. Let's do wide receiver middle. They're going man, so I got plenty of options here. Get this done around five seconds. Both safeties come up, I'll give it to Clashman. Otherwise, they'll probably go to Gilmore or Bailey. They're going too high, and they got a lot of defenders in the middle of the field, so I'm not going to give it to Gilmore, obviously. Thankfully, I had a little outside beater. Gilmore was running a dig on the left, but you see we had two spies. Well, I guess they're not spies. One of them is probably defending that Washington. It would have been a tough throw to get it to Gilmore right here, so let's just play it safe and give it to the outside guy. Second and three. I 
let's run. Do I have a, a f yes, we'll do smash. We'll do all the right-handed version of it, or the right hash. They're going zone, so I'm just going to give this to Gilmore. Let's see if there's a hole in the middle. I can't really tell, so we'll just do that. Pick up the first. Easy peasy. Can't go wrong there. Uh, we can stay here. Let's just run a screen. We're going zone. Now we can run a little clock since we stayed in bounds. And this will go to Kleinschmidt. Indiana comes out in the shotgun. And if I can score, I'll score. Otherwise, I'll just run clock. Get this thing down to under a few seconds. Good blocking by everybody. I'm not going to juke. I'm not going to risk it. So McFarland broke his own record, the single game record. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Let's go back to this play. Where's that? Tiny corner. They're going man, so this will probably just go to Gilmore. Indiana. We'll run some clock. Kleinschmidt is another good man beater, but he gets a little congested with that tight end, which is why it's just safer to go to your out route on the left. Perfect throw. He got out of bounds, though, which is still not a big deal. Because of that, let's just do P.A. Reed. They're going zone. So I'll just dump this to Washington, just play it safe, let him pick up a few yards on the sideline. Uh-oh, here we go. He's a beast! He's a beast! The 5'5 five five monster. Pick up seven yards there. Now, we can go... Uh, I want to go back to wide receiver middle. We got a couple short routes underneath. They're going zone, so I'm just going to bounce this to Washington. I could probably throw it to Bailey if I wanted to over the middle. That's going to be awful tight, though. They're going too high. Yeah, I just don't trust that. All oh, fumble. He was hurt, yeah. Oh, look, look at this. He's going to go all the way with it. I'll be. Can we get him? Nope, gone. Dang it. That was... Oh, well. <laughs> that stinks. 92 yards. Broke the all-time fumble return record. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. My bad. I shouldn't have juked. I should have just done a stiff arm and let him get tackled. I was trying to go for the touchdown. Oh, well. He was probably gassed anyways. Washington was. So I have 19 or nine seconds to go. I'm still going to try to do something with it. Just run another play. Just keep adding more points or stats to the whole thing. Seven seconds. Uh, I want to go back to... I, it's, it's on my mind. I want to go back to this wide receiver under. They're going man-dime, so this will be interesting. This will go to either Thick Pin or Turner. Both safety's coming up. Oh, good catch. Big pin, and he can't catch normally. But had both safeties come up, so just do a little 50-50 ball. Now let's look at the stats. Good win. Goofy fumble at the end, but that doesn't bother me. It's a done deal here. We'll check out the stats and see how everybody done. I think he probably got close to 500 yards off of that. I don't care about the team. Let's do the individual. 512. So there's our first 500-yard passing game. 41 of 50. You, I mean, you, you can't ask for anything better. Five touchdowns, zero interceptions. That's what we always want to see. Rushing, we ran the ball once for a yard, and that was for a touchdown. So the percentage is good. Receiving, 13 for Washington, 12 for Gilmore, 6, 6, 2, 1, 1. Two, four, yeah, seven guys got the touch the ball. Not bad. Not bad at all. All righty. Uh, we can look at the, the team stats overall. 513 yards of offense. Passing, 512 of that. 
So we're going to have the worst rushing attack in the country, but we'll have the best passing attack. So it'll even out. Uh, didn't have any sacks. Fourth down was good. Third down conversion was great. Four of six. I'm perfectly happy with that. Red zone, 80% was good. The fumble is what caused that for us not to get 100. We had the one turnover. Otherwise, it was spot on. And look at the time of possession. I mean, I don't try to hog up as much time as needed, but it's just kind of the way it worked out, especially towards the end when we was running clock. Okay, great game. That was a lot of fun. Throwing the ball around never gets old. So if you ever want an ideal air raid blueprint, watch this game over and over again. I ran as many different concepts as I could think of. I probably ran, what, 20-something different plays there. So you could break down that film as much as you want. Go nuts with it. Because that was as ideal of a passing attack as I've ran in a game in a long, long time. So hopefully you enjoyed a lot of that and you'll get something out of it. Okay, next game is going to be at Wisconsin. Here's where it gets a lot of fun. They're 0-2, but I don't. that doesn't mean anything to me. They still have a whole lot more talent than we do. But I kind of want to go into Madison, Wisconsin with an upset win. We're going to try it. So come on back. We'll take on the Badgers. And I'll talk to you later.